Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then this next one, they want you to see it in theaters, but mm-hmm. um, it's called Top Gun 2. Top Gun 2. Return of the Top Gun. Return of Top. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tom Cruise plays a top. There's, no, there's a, there's there's a new man on top. Top Gun. <laughs> So the, the trailer for this Top Gun is interesting because I know it's been in like development hell or whatever. It's been kind of stuck for a long time. Yeah, COVID stuff. Yeah, they, they made it like two or three years ago. But um, it's, uh, I mean, Miles Teller is supposed to be the star. But if you look at the trailer, it's like 80% of it is Tom Cruise. Yeah. I'm wondering um, if they recut it to prioritize Cruise or something. I have a question on Miles Teller's mustache. Yeah. <laughs> what? 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 What's I have that a... out? <laughs> like, just so he looks more like Goose. the guy from the from the eighties. <laughs> yeah, I get that. His his dad in the in the in the Top Gun universe, his, his dad is Goose, right? The guy who uh-huh. died. Yeah. So they're just trying to make him look more like him, I guess. Even though he looks nothing like Anthony Edwards. I guess, but like, yeah. What a goofy looking guy, though. Miles Teller, like in <laughs> yeah. general, he looks goofy. Yeah, I'm not. Wait, you, you, just in general, you think Miles Teller looks goofy? Okay, he's got a weird head. All right, <laughs> he's got a weird head. It's kind of like bulbous on the top and then flat from the forehead to the nose. Hmm. This is uh, interesting. I didn't know that, but I, I mean, I'm a fan of the Miles Televerse, though, from <laughs> Whiplash to. Uh, what else has he done? War Dogs. Whiplash. Yeah, I just liked him in Whiplash. I guess. Have you seen War Dogs? Yeah, I saw War Dogs. It was good. I, like I didn't love it, though. I like it quite Whiplash was, like, excellent. I like Whiplash a lot. Um, Is it the nose? Is it the, the like, rectangularness of it? What's wrong with his head? I don't know. I never thought there was anything wrong. He's got a bad... He's, he's There's something wrong with his goofy-looking head. He needs to get that checked out. Yeah. In a couple of years, they're going to be like, oh, he was my, in a movie with Teller has cancer. Yeah, he was in the insurgent stuff with the Elgort. Um, yeah. What a goofy name too, Elgort. But that's but that's not Miles Teller. Oh, he was in Fantastic Four. <laughs> yeah. The really bad one. Um. Oh, he was in Footloose, which we we. Oh, why didn't we talk about the Brewer verse? Or are we doing a? A thing oh, on that. The, the Craig Brewer verse? Yeah. We'll do Brewer after you've seen uh, after you see Dolomite. Okay. But yeah, Top Gun. So Top Gun. That stupid uh, mustache. And like, I get it, but like, nobody has a mustache like that now unless they're trying to be funny. And is he yeah. like a silly guy? Maybe. <laughs> he's like, I'm doing a silly mustache. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be silly. I think he's supposed to be serious. <laughs> well, yeah. That, it's bad. Like The trailer... Here cgi out that mustache like they did for superman <laughs> yeah the maybe the people's republic of china will re- request that they um edit out the mustache mm-hmm. you know you know how there used to be like a there was a taiwan flag on uh yes on maverick's jacket and and they changed the PR, it to just the like PRC, a triangle yeah the prc said you had to remove it <laughs> um uh but the, so the trailer like first came out like two years ago and there's like a Ford Bronco featured prominently at the beginning of the trailer. So it's like, you know, paid, paid placement. Um, but uh, those Bronco people didn't get their money's worth because that, that Bronco came out like two years ago. It's no longer uh, exciting. Yeah. Um, w- one second. I got a baby issue. No problem. Um, you ever have a baby come in with a thing of cottage cheese and ask you to open it? Um, <laughs> Pretty close, actually. Yeah. <laughs> More or less, I've had that happen. Yeah, yeah, common, common occurrence, I guess. Um, Miles Teller CGI'd out uh, Taiwan flag Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco, white Ford Bronco. I like the but... looks of the Bronco. It looks nice, but I would not spend that money on that car. No, but well, uh, I I said white Ford Bronco, but that's just an OJ reference. The, the Bronco. <laughs> yeah. The Bronco in the trailer was not white. They'll probably never make a white one again. Mm-hmm. I would buy a white one just for the meme. But I'd buy, um, I'd buy an OJ, yeah, OJ edition. Mm-hmm. The juice ed- edition, <laughs> juiced up. 
<laughs> There's like a juice mode on the car. OJ trim. Um, it looks cool. I I realize that this is DOD propaganda because that's how all these military movies get made with like real jets and stuff. Yeah. Is they the military just is like, yes, we will fund this and you can mm-hmm. have all these jets for free. Um, if it is CGI, which I don't know if they've said anything about the levels of CGI, and I assume there's some amount, but it looks good, mm-hmm. right? Trailer looks really sharp. And I think had they done a Top Gun remake like five to ten years ago, it would have been a CGI fest and would not look this good. But I think we've kind of moved beyond where people are like, yeah, everyone just wants to see everything on a green screen. And they're like, yeah, we need to have some real stuff in camera for it to actually look like not an animated movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, it looked pretty good. Yeah, you, the, the DOD propaganda thing, um, that's kind of what I was thinking is it's like, uh, is this a movie to like make fighter pilots seem relevant again? Because Just in time for another war. Well, and I was also thinking, I, I joked on Twitter about um, uh, the ghost of Kiev mm-hmm. being being a viral marketing stunt for the uh, uh, Top Gun 2 movie. <laughs> the entire war in Ukraine is actually just a you viral. Zo- if you zoom in on the picture, it, it actually is Miles Teller with his stupid little mustache. <laughs> yeah. The entire uh, conflict in Ukraine is just a viral marketing stunt for Top Gun 2. Um, Who's directing it? Mm, Do I know I this guy? Know. Um, don't know this guy at all. Oblivion. Okay. And Tron Legacy. Oh, all right. Maybe it'll be good. Um, uh, they got, um, they got Jennifer Connelly because the actual lady is too old now. <laughs> who was the actual lady? I don't remember her name, but like Tom, Tom Cruise's like girlfriend in the movie. Yeah. Haven't you seen that? It's like a meme. It's a very mean spirited meme that gets passed around. Where it's oh like, yeah, because she's like real gone she, downhill. Compared she to looks, other ladies. yeah, she looks her age, and Tom Cruise still looks like thirty five. So yeah, she's not drinking the baby blood. Yeah, she does not. She doesn't have thetans. <laughs> I wish I had some though, or I guess we all do, right? Got to get them out through auditing. Um. <laughs> hold the cans that's what they call them the cans they're gonna do that actually in this movie i heard there's a scene where miles teller he has his mustache and he's grabbing onto the (laughs) aluminum cans and he's telling all his like uh secret gay sex that he has and then they're recording it (laughs) um it's a beautiful religion (laughs) religion of peace yeah um we're gonna get dmca'd on this (laughs) Uh, actually yeah i mean i uh, I'm not suicidal, and I love Scientology. Yeah. Well, I didn't even specify what religion. Oh, I've never heard of it. I don't yeah. even actually. I don't actually know what Scientology is. Yeah. Uh, real talk, though. I mean, I'm just glad some of those guys have a religion. Really? I don't know. I mean, it's better than like. <laughs> doesn't seem worse is than it? what. Doesn't seem worse. It than does what seem most... worse. It seems worse than what most people do. Yeah. <laughs> does it seem worse than what most Hollywood people do? Yeah, it kind of does. I don't know. Are they in on like the kind of broader Hollywood project of a? Uh, I think uh, so. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Actually, but they're just I'll... doing it for for Zeno instead. <laughs> All right, I've changed my mind. I am now uh, yeah. neutral. I'm uh, completely neutral on the topic of uh, a religion that I've. Never I know. Heard I of. know. A lot of people make comparisons between like Scientology and Mormonism. Or whatever, which is not what I call it, but um, <laughs> it's just like no, like we don't like sue you if you leave the church. Like you're yeah. allowed to leave at any point, and your family it doesn't have to like quarantine themselves from you if you leave the church. Like that's not a thing. Yeah, and then people be like, but "My family did. My family didn't invite me to Thanksgiving." And it's like it's not the same, my dude. Like, sorry. <laughs> like, you were probably a jerk, and that's why <laughs> we didn't invite you. Yeah, you threatened to talk about AOC or something. Yeah. Um, the 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 other thing I remember from Top Gun, or maybe this was Mission Impossible, but at some point, because this movie's been <laughs> coming out for like three or four years now. Yeah. So, uh, at some point, to- uh, Tom Cruise was like, turn off the motion interpolation on your TV. There was like a special <laughs> PSA. 
I thought it was for like a Top Gun commercial, and he's like, make sure to turn off motion interpolation on your 4K TV because it ruins movies. Mm. Yeah, he's right. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess this movie has Val Kilmer in it. He doesn't. I don't think he appears in the trailer except a picture of him. But he's listed. Yeah, the there's just a picture, and you see him, and I'm like, okay, Kilmer. I, I'm a Kilmer fan, so you know, good for Kilmer. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this was filmed before he lost his throat, but we'll see. He lost his throat. I mean, he can't like talk anymore. He he talks through like a. Uh, well, he can talk, but it's like it sounds like a kind of like a robot. Mm. Yeah, he had like cancer or something. I don't know, but mm. you know, I like him. Hope hope the best for him. Um, I hope the movie ends with the just the entire fleet being grounded because of like a cybersecurity issue. Um, that would be good. <laughs> or it ends with like them having a feud with the drone pilots. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just gets droned out of the air. Or it ends with um, Anthony Edwards coming back to life, <laughs> and then like they hug each other with their mustaches. Him and Miles Teller. <laughs> Is Tom Cruise going to die then if Miles Teller is supposedly the main character? Are they going to that he's going to be the new goose? Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it ends with with Miles Teller recreating the death of his father. <laughs> well, yeah, they're not going to kill Miles Teller, are they? And it's just like a doomed generation. And then they'll make it in another 30 years and it'll be Miles yeah. Teller's kid. And he'll have like a weird prosthetic forehead. <laughs> um, also, to look more thinking, like Miles Teller. It'd be funny if uh, they, they fe- the trailer features like this uh, female fighter pilot, which, as I understand it, there's like very few, if any, yeah. female fighter pilots. And the one I didn't that, even notice that, but yeah, that is weird. And you know, of course, they're going to do that for a movie, but like the ones, I, I don't know the numbers on it, but apparently, a lot of a lot of the accidents with fighter planes are the very small number of female pilots. <laughs> um, speaking of that. There's a few scenes in the trailer where he like zips straight through like two planes flying in direct formation. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that like shows you've got some skill or whatever, but isn't that like insanely reckless? (laughs) And like, and like, like you just got lucky. Like, I don't think you're super skilled by doing it. I think you got lucky and you could have killed those people. Why would you try to kill someone in a training exercise? Although I guess that's what Top Gun's about. Yeah, trying to kill people in training <laughs> exercises. Yeah. The government loves when you do that. Yeah. It is funny that they the, these things are like DOD propaganda, but then once you get there, the first thing they'll tell you is, this isn't a movie, this isn't Top Gun. It's like, well, uh-huh. it's the entire reason I'm here. You guys tricked me into being here. Yeah, with Transformers and Top Gun. Yeah. Although that scene in Transformers where they're in the, like, is it the C-130 and they're shooting the side gun at the Transformers? That's such a good scene. I don't remember it. I, I mean, I vaguely I've liked Transformers, but I don't remember yeah. that. Uh, well, it's that like thing. those types of shots you couldn't get unless you had like the military in on it, and like like when they have an A10 Warthog, like <laughs> do the thing. Mm-hmm. It's like cool. Um, so like, yeah, I guess it's a good thing that that we fund making movies as propaganda. But <laughs> <laughs> so my my final take on uh, Top Gun 2049 or whatever it's called. Yeah is uh i'm not interested in it really it looks cool so i will see it Mm -hmm. uh, just to kind of like stay up uh stay up with the culture but um uh i'm gonna guess i bet the the critics are gonna say it uh falls flat it doesn't doesn't revive the magic of the original um they're gonna they're gonna give it mm, like it's gonna be like 65 it'll be okay like they'll look it'll be like it's that's still fresh that's still fresh, but they're not going to love it. I think it. it's going to go rotten. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it's a big budget movie to go rotten. Um, I think they'll kind of like it. And then I, th- I bet audience will just think it's cool because people. Um, I'm, yeah. I've always been surprised by the like in- enduring love for the original Top Gun. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I like it. It's all right. But it, but people like really, really like it. And I think people are just going to be like, cool, Jets, you know, Tom Cruise. And they'll be, it'll get uh, 85 or 90. Yeah, I'm with you on that score. So I think it's going to go like 55 critic, but then it's going to be like 90 audience. They're just going to mm. love it. Yeah. 